friends, it's Christine Vicente with Queen City Stamp Art, and I'm back today with another clean and simple card. This week we're going to be using the Celebrate Sunflowers bundle, and I specifically chose this because of all the hoopla over the August Paper Pumpkin Kit Sweet Sunflowers. Now this stamp set coordinates beautifully with your Paper Pumpkin Kit if you were a subscriber or if you elected to get that one kit for just this month. Um, it has a beautiful sunflower that's just similar to this one, but a little bit smaller, and um, some really cute sentiments that go with it. So I think you're gonna be really excited if you got the August Paper Pumpkin Kit. Not only are the projects they provide beautiful, but you'll have that stamp set to create all kinds of fun additional cards. So even if you didn't get the August Paper Pumpkin Kit, I think you're gonna love the card for today. This is a gorgeous stamp set and it's perfect for this time of year when sunflowers are fully in bloom and we're creeping toward the fall months. So we're gonna be using the small sunflower image, but when I finish the card today, I'm gonna to show you a card that's a little bit more elaborate than I made with the larger sunflower. And we're gonna use the Thanks a Bunch sentiment. We're also gonna be using a couple of sprigs this um, stamp set comes with a coordinating die to create a bundle, and it's absolutely gorgeous. This um, beautiful image will cut out the large sunflower. This is a beautiful sunflower detail die. Uh, there are some small leaves and then a bigger leaf that you can stamp and die cut. There's a sunflower center that you can cut out and layer on top, and then a detail leaf. And then this um, little image, I mean, this little die will cut out our sunflower when we're done coloring it. And then um, there are a couple of cute little leafy sprigs that we're gonna be using um, on this card and that I also used on the more bumped up version. So the die set is extremely valuable to use with the stamp set, I highly recommend it. Sometimes that's not the case, but in this case, I really do recommend the dies. Uh, the stamp cut and emboss embossing folder we're gonna be using is Quatrefoil Tile today. So that's going to be one of the layers. And we're gonna do a little bit of coloring. So I'm gonna bring this little piece in and we're gonna be coloring with the blends, the Stampin' Blends markers. I'm gonna show you a fun way to color in a sunflower using this really pretty rainbow. So I'm just gonna quickly go over the colors. We're gonna be using the Light Poppy Parade. This is gonna add a little bit of depth to the color of the sunflower today. Um, we're also gonna be using some Calypso Coral in Light and Dark, some Daffodil Delight in Light and Dark, some old olive in light and dark, and some crumb cake in light and dark. So these are the colors. We're gonna stamp our sentiment in soft suede, and we're actually gonna be using the Memento black ink pad to stamp the sunflower itself, just because that works so well with the alcohol inks. So let's just stamp this sunflower. And now we're just gonna start coloring it in. So I'm gonna start with the leaves. And I like to layer on a little bit of the dark, and I like to kind of go with the lines that are etched into the image itself as to where to put the darker color. So that can act as a little guide for you if you're ever wondering, like, how do I shade that? Um, and then I'm gonna go over it with my light marker. And I'm just gonna kind of add the color in small little circles, a little circular motion. and kind of blend it out a little bit. These are so tiny, it's kind of hard to really see much of a difference. So I'm gonna take, I'm gonna go in with my dark uh, crumb cake and I'm gonna just kind of go in along the vein of the leaves and where those little shade marks are closest to the actual flower and add a little bit of brown. And then I'm gonna take my light marker and blend it out a little bit with the light old olive. And that just adds a little bit of extra texture, well, depth of color, not texture, but depth of color. So then we're gonna move on to the yellows. So for this one, I'm gonna start by taking the, the Light Poppy Parade, and I'm just going to flick some color from the center of the petals, like the where the petals meet the center of the flower, and just add a little bit of this Poppy Parade in here. And I'm literally just flicking like once, two or three times in each petal, just to add a little bit of this red. And you'll see why when we add, start adding the oranges and yellows to this, it really adds some nice um, depth to this color and helps to bring it to life. Then I'm gonna move on to the Calypso Coral. And I'm gonna start with the light. 
kind of blend that out a little bit. And then we'll add some of the yellow. We'll go in with Dark Daffodil Delight. And just blend it out. And you'll notice that I'm not going all the way to the tip because I want the tips of the sunflower to be very light. And so I'll go over those at the very, very end when I'm finished coloring in the petals. But at this point, I just want to keep them as light as possible with one coating of color. And so I'm just going to wait and not color the tips in at all yet. I'm just kind of adding color to kind of blend out the reds that I've put on the petals right now. And then that looks really good. I don't think we need to add any of this light Calypso Coral yet. Um, I'm going to add some of the, um, well, maybe I will. Maybe I'll add just a little bit of this. Again, just near the edges of the petals, closest to the center of the sunflower, just to give it some warmth. And just a little, not a lot. And then we'll go in with the lightest daffodil now. Lightest daffodil to light, the light one. And we're going to kind of really blend the color out and hit the tips of the leaves. And you'll see that there's a real nice gradient of color, and it really makes for a really pretty palette of color on this sunflower. Gives it a lot of warmth. And I really like it better than if you just kind of color in with a flat yellow. I think it looks so pretty to kind of shade it with some of the darker yellows and oranges and even a little red. Light Real Red works very good too if you don't have that. Um, if you don't have Poppy Parade and you want to use Light Real Red, that works great. And so by adding this light daffodil, now that we're at the end of coloring in the petals, the tips of these petals are only getting hit once with the marker and it keeps the color very light. So it almost looks like the sun is hitting them. And now you have a really nice depth of color in that. So I really like how that looks. Now we're gonna just do the center of the sunflower here. And I'm just going to take again my darkest crumb cake and I'm just hitting where the speckling is the darkest. I'm just gonna kind of go around the edge like that. Then I'm going to come in with the light, and I'm using the bullet tip on this because it's so small. And I'm just going to color over the entire surface of the card center, of the flower center. I'll get any little spots that are kind of white that I might have missed, even on the petals at this point. And I like that. I think that looks good. It kind of really showcases how the um, leaves look. And then, <clears throat> so this is still a little damp. You know, it takes a little bit for the alcohol to kind of evaporate. And um, normally I would now take this and lay this on top. This overlays really nicely. You can see how this lines up pretty easily and run it through my die cutting machine. And what you end up getting is a much softer version of this color. So this will kind of dry back a little bit and fade. So even if it looks a little bit too much red for you, it will kind of fade into the background and you'll get a more muted look but it still looks really, really pretty. So we're gonna use this sunflower to put the card together. So for this clean and simple card, we're just gonna use a um, basic white thick base card as usual. And I've picked out a layer of um, the quatrefoil tile embossing folder to add to this base card. And whenever I use the embossing folders, I do like a little bit of extra adhesive on the panel just because it can kind of pop up on the edges and I don't like it to look unfinished. So we're just going to layer this onto the front of the card. And this is just an, a standard A2 size card. So this layer panel measures four by five and a quarter, like that. Then um, I thought it would be nice to add a layer of vellum. So we're going to, I took a, um, a scalloped rectangle from the con color and contour dies or the scallop contour dies, I'm sorry. And I'm just going to put a little bit of adhesive in this bottom right corner. Vellum doesn't require a lot of adhesive in order to hold it in place. And um, I just want this to be tacked lightly. 
right here in the corner. And this will, you can't really see the adhesive right now, but you would be able to see this over time. So I'm bottom center weighting this card so that the focal panel is a little bit lower on the front toward the bottom, but it's centered side to side. And then um, I had die cut a couple of these little sprigs. Now, depending on what color you use, I chose the um, old olive to kind of tie in with the leaves and bring a little bit more of that green color in because that's gonna make the yellows and the browns kind of pop a little bit more. But I don't want a ton of it. So what I'm gonna do with these is they're a little bit long. I don't want them to extend too far. So I'm just gonna trim off a little bit. There's a place here where they cross and you can trim this little bit of extra off. And that way when I go to tuck it under the flower, it'll fit really nicely. In fact, um, instead of tucking right now, I think what we'll do is we'll just put a little bit of adhesive on this, this little end, because I know where I want it to go. And I'm just gonna kind of put it here so it, it extends up the side of the scalloped rectangle. And then for this one, I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I'm just gonna trim it at where it crosses and add a tiny bit of adhesive to the bottom there. And then I'm just gonna put these together where they kind of meet up like that. Then I'm going to take my um, soft suede ink pad, I'll set that aside for a sec, and we're gonna stamp out the sentiment. So for this card, I decided to go with thanks a bunch. And I cut a little panel that measures four by three quarters of an inch. And I'm just going to um, stamp this across the front like that and now I'm gonna just trim it up at an angle like this and then we're gonna attach this to the base card just flat so I'll put a little bit of adhesive on the back and just lay it in here and I just want to make sure it's straight across the front of the card so I kind of line it up with the bottom of the card to make sure it's straight and then for this piece we're gonna pop this up and I want to do it so that some of these little sprigs stick out among the leaves because I think that looks a little bit more, um, you could do it this way too, if you wanted, like so that they are down and you've got like this little visual triangle, but I'm trying to minimize the amount of contrast. So I'm gonna do mine so that the leaves kind of all coordinate there in that and kind of meet up in that little area. So I'm gonna put a couple of these little adhesive dimensionals to pop this up. Just like this and add those to the front of the card and now I can lift this up now that I see where this is laying I can lift up this panel this little vellum panel and put a little bit more adhesive to hold that down and now it won't show and it'll all stay in place nicely and then to finish this one I thought I would add some extra embellishments so we're going to be using some of the red and green adhesive backed pearls and uh, these come with red, like a real red, or like a cherry, and then a very soft succulent colored green and silver and gold. So it's a very nice assortment of pearls that you get when you pick up this uh, metallic pearl set. These are sold in the July to December mini catalog. And I'm gonna use a couple of gold ones because I like how the gold looks. And I'm just gonna put a couple on here to draw the eye like that. I think that looks pretty. And that's basically the card for today. So that's the clean and simple version of this beautiful little sunflower thank you card. So to bump this up, um, I'm going to show you a bigger version of this card where I took the, um, the big sunflower and colored it very similarly. I added some of the poppy parade in some areas and then blended it all out with the Eclipse, a little bit of a Calypso coral, and then finished it off with the Daffodil Delight markers. And just all that layered color gives it a beautiful golden look. I really, really like it. And then I did Old Olive on the leaves and added, again, a little bit of the brown. And then for the um, sprigs on this card, instead of going with the, gar uh, the Old Olive, I went with the soft suede. So I cut the sprigs in soft suede and I splayed them out a little bit more. I used a bigger vellum pattern uh, panel. And then I also did a, um, oops, that's a little bit crooked. I did a little bit of um, linen thread and a bigger sentiment. So it really kind of fills up the front of the card. It's not quite as clean and simple as this version, 
but I just wanted to show you how you can use the large sunflower in a very similar design, card design overall, and have a gorgeous card too. So two beautiful cards using that gorgeous Celebrate Sunflowers bundle. And um, I'm not sure it's bundled anymore. I think you actually have to buy them separately, the sunflower dies and the sunflower stamp set. But the August host code is still open at, over at Queen City Stamp Art. So you can go there to shop or you can just kind of follow this um, link and it will take you directly to my Stampin' Up! store. And if you use the August host code and you spend $50 or more, we still have celebration rewards that are being offered through the end of August of 2022. So you're welcome to uh, get your freebies there. And you'll also earn pineapple reward points through my, uh, my Queen City Stamp Art pineapple reward point program. So thanks so much for watching today and I'll see you next week.